there he goes yesterday I brought home three loads so there's seven more in a little bit we'll get the self-propelled swather out start cutting some grass it's a little cloudy and humid right now we'll let that pass that rhymes and sounds lame starting to smell a little mousy in here again soft to be doing this but it's about to get hot <laughs> So we have these big wind breaks in every feedlot and they help a lot during the winter. Cattle definitely spend a lot of time standing on the other side of them when it's pretty windy and cold. A windbreak doesn't help much in the summer and actually makes it worse because they like to stand up on the mound then and get more wind. It's these contraptions that stick in the frame and then you're able to turn it into a shade. We think it's pretty important that they have shade. You know what the black animal, if they have no shade and it's 100 degrees and sunny, I mean, you stand out in that. It's terrible. And so every pasture we have, either they got some place with water that they can stand in, trees to hide under, or in the feedlot, they got these shades. It's gonna be really good since in three days it's gonna be over 100 degrees. It's supposed to get sunny sometime, so we'll get the windrower out here after I move my truck. Have you guys seen the decked drawer system in the back? I put one folding chair in here the other day and my fiance said, what do you need a folding chair for? One week later, she was sitting in a folding chair and I was sitting in the grass. And so now we got two folding chairs in there. And that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Just got back from my bachelor party two weeks ago, so that was a good time. We took my truck out to the hills out in Rapid City, you ever been? It's a pretty scenic area. It rained a little bit, and my bag was in here, and it stayed dry, so that was nice. And my brother was bringing a grill, so we had that set up on top. So far, I'm liking it. Pretty happy it's in there. Quite a bit of storage in there, and plus you can still set heavy stuff on top. Deck.com is sponsoring today's video, and if you're interested in a drawer system like this, if you hit the link below or go to www.deck.com slash sunny, you can get free shipping on your drawer system. It's made in the USA. It's better than a tunnel cover in my opinion. Take a glance over the knives before I go. Well, dad called me. I think he's switching off with Jeff pretty soon. A lot of those alfalfa bales are going to his place because he's low on alfalfa over there. We're low on, we're really low on grass here. So it's June, in July we got 22 loads of corn contracted out pretty much all this week. In June we got three, so we gotta do three this week. But Dad wants to haul a little corn and sun's not coming out, but it's, it's gonna end up being a really gorgeous day. Mid to upper 70s, sunny. We're gonna start loading up some corn here and hopefully soon I'm able to go start cutting grass. <laughs>
full truck. Herefords are looking good. Seems like the bull's got a private room in the back. It's like 70 degrees out right now. During the summer, you don't always get that. You think, and you start thinking, what should I be doing that would suck when it's hot? And the answer is work all these cows and calves in the pasture, which we need to do, pour them, and give the calves a pink eye shot. And so luckily tomorrow morning it will be cool, and so that's what we're going to do tomorrow is work cows and calves. To prepare for that, I just need to run to store the station, get some vaccines, and that's what we'll be doing tomorrow, and maybe even one group later today. There's the sun coming. Buddy, you about got me. I totaled the old 98. I would have been sad. This thing running out of gas about totals it. And just like that, the sun poked out. No more chances of rain today or really for the next seven days. I'm gonna grab some lunch and then we'll get cutting. So dad's got his own doings today and he's taking off. He said, I should do a song of the day, but I got this ugly shirt on. <laughs> well, I thought to myself, Self. Self. I'm going to change clothes before I go to the cattle sale, so I'll just wear this wore out t-shirt this morning because I don't think Cole's video on anyway. And then I just told him I want to do a song of the day, but don't, I don't want to, so he stuck it right on me, of course. So, so. don't look at the ugly shirt. Yeah. There we go. It's wore out, <laughs> but it's kind of nice on a hot day because it's really thin. Yeah, so, which brings us to the song of the day. Why do you do that? Why are you that way to me? Why are you so mean? It's good content. <laughs> Another country song, just like yesterday, the song of the day today is that there fellow there. Uh, what's his name? The guy that's on The Voice. Lady Gaga. Mm, the other guy. Shakira. No, Guy Cole, the guy. Michelle Obama. Cole, that. That country guy that's on the voice. The song of the day is Blake Shelton, Old Red. Now take the camera off me. Oh, I got it on your shirt. We got some hay wrapped up in here and it's just all plugged up and I don't have a real knife with me but I do have some new ones of these so I'll try to cut it out I wasn't even in that thick of stuff I'm surprised that happened pretty much stopped the whole bar I'm really hoping I called my cousin because he he's got one of these and asking him if there was an easy way out and he was he was thinking I maybe got some barbed wire in there and I was right next to a fence line, so we'll see what happens. That actually works pretty dang good. It's just so wet and green. It's wedged in there pretty tight. No rocks, no barbed wire. Just took about 20 minutes to clean out. Hopefully it just works now. It's not yelling at me, so we must be good. You can see how it's coming that way and then it just started cutting real poor and not chucking it out. It's working just fine now. It wasn't even thick grass, you know, right next to it. You can see it's pretty short, not very thick. The right glob of jazz went through at the wrong time. Looks pretty snazzy. Right over there in that area is where I dropped my nickel. It'll dry down a bit. Looks like we nicked this rock a little and it comes with a worm.
still right here. Son of a gun. Dang chicks. Oh, now I feel like they're everywhere. Kind of feeling like we're cutting a tickle early. You know, places like that where there isn't much for the seed heads. Like right in there, there's a lot of green. I feel like they could have filled out a little more. We usually do cut this one early though because it's right next to this small pasture. The pasture they're in can't really sustain them. And so we pretty much hope for a nice rain soon after we cut this and then we open the gate and let them eat the regrowth in here. Seems like we got a wind out there. Look at that. Look at that grass whipping around. It's like we're cutting an ocean out here. It's waving. If we were trying to rake dry hay in this weather, it would be blowing into the fence line. Son of a, it did it again. Oh, look at that. Just, oh, that's ugly. Oh, my lanta. And you see all that hay that's not there? You know where it is? It's inside there. Oh, oh, I don't want to... I don't want to look at it. Oh, what the heck. Just been kind of wondering why this is happening now and it didn't happen this year. Well, or last year, not this year, obviously it's happening this year, but it didn't happen last year. And it's cause you know, we didn't have big windrows last year or big hay. We didn't have tall and thick hay because it was so dry. One thing I do like is the first time it plugged on that side, this time it plugged on this side, which makes me feel like there's not something going on over there. It'd be nice if I had a legit knife and not one of these blades. I'm about 20 minutes in, losing hope, getting hot, a little thirsty. And I got a poop. Ugh. I need an adult. Oh. Oh my gosh. That was fun. That's a mess. You wouldn't believe it. Oh. I wasn't even going fast. I was going like five mile an hour. This is getting ridiculous. Nothing even looks wrong. Why was he yelling at me? Oh. Now it's stuck up here. That one took an hour. I probably got 30 ticks on me. I think we got a couple belts getting bad. And so it doesn't take much to get it stopped and then it plugs it hard. We're, go we're doing it. Yeah! Woo! I'm gonna cry. That's a joke. I'm not gonna cry. I'm a man. Let's get back out there, gang, and give it our all. I think it's actually because these belts suck. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Ah. Pretty sure I'm getting sick of looking at that though. Yeah, so we got the fun rapage down in there. And we come to this side and we got a double whammy over here, yeah. It's wrapped around this thing. Awesome. I don't know if I should. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go to the other side. Over there and start working this way. Cause this side sucks. There's a word in the British language and it's poppycock or something like that. I don't know how they say it. I feel like it's fitting for these moments. It's a bunch of poppycock going on over here. I got a green thumb. Sometimes you got a cast on the other side. We were so close. We were so dang close. Oh, there's gonna be a lot in there. That's gonna be a full header. Oh, it keeps going. Oh, all of that is in there. I'm getting sick of this, man. All I'm thinking about is the two bottles of wine in the fridge. Ha, 
you can't wrap in the corners if you're not cutting on the corners. I'm so excited for this field to be done. Let's get the flock out of here. That took five hours. And it should have taken about three, three and a half. I went in the house, ate some steak, rejuvenated and healed my body, and now I am ready to do more work on the farm. Cows are hanging out right there. Just gonna chase them up, split the cows off. They're gonna get poor, and then the calves are gonna get some poor and a vaccine for pink eye. quite a bit of different things going on today and uh, the least favorite was probably spending three extra hours cutting hay but it's done and I'm gonna go get some supper thanks for watching we'll see you next time have a good one